Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's in the rain. It's in the rain. Yes. There's the wall hug. Tornado on the ground. It's on the ground, right in front of us. See it up there? Tornado on the ground to our right side. Thank you. 
It's right in front of us. The whole thing's a tornado in front of us. See it? The tornado is directly in front of us. It's rain wrapped, large, probably a mile wide at this point. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. We have a structure you can see that appears to be lost. Field. The big hook echo is moving. The circulation is right along 10th Street. It may hear south of 10th Street. It's along Reno Street. It's along 15th Street. It is also sending south. This is the train. And just to bring people up to speed, uh, the National Weather Service uh, says that at, at 622, so roughly nine minutes ago, 622 Central Time, uh, a large violent tornado uh, was reported near and just east of Highway 81 near El Reno, Oklahoma. That's about 30 miles west of Oklahoma City, moving straight east at 25 miles per hour. Uh, uh, area of Mustang, the city of Mustang should take cover. In addition, we have uh, word that Will Rogers Airport in Oklahoma City has been evacuated. Ben McMillan is joining us uh, on the phone. He's chasing storms south of El Reno. Uh, ben, what are you seeing and, and where are you exactly? We're about uh, two to three miles southwest of the, of the city, and we're coming upon structures that have been hit. We're checking for injured right now. We've noticed uh, several barns at this point that are completely destroyed. However, most of the houses we've seen are intact. However, we're getting further into the damage zone, and we've uh, had gas leak. And it appears like there are some residential homes now that have significant damage. I'm just rolling up on them right now. If you can pull my dash cam, you'll see some of this, this uh, structural damage. I'm very concerned for these people. I'm just about to pull into a, a driveway of a home that's been hit. We have a safe patrol on scene with us here. This is a disaster zone. There's gas leak, so please uh, bear with me here. That's pretty injured. Um, I mean, this yeah. is a very fluid situation. I'm going to put my dash cam on one of the homes that's been hit. You can see, as I zoom in here on the structure, uh, it's almost done. I'm not seeing anything. It, this is saddening. This is heartbreaking. Right. Well, you be careful, Ben, because, of course, as you know better than anyone, but just for our listeners, a lot of the injuries that take place uh, in tornadoes are not necessarily during the tornado itself, but afterwards because of gas leaks and structures that are not secure. Uh, we are now looking, I, th I think that's your camera on the left of the screen uh, as you set that up, and obviously you're going to go there to, uh, to see if anybody needs your help. Uh, and we'll keep watching that uh, while, you, while you do that. Samantha Moore is at the CNN uh, Weather Center. We're going to keep our eye on, on what Ben McMillan and his team are doing. They're trying to save people if anybody needs saving in a home that looks just devastated in the area uh, just about two miles away from uh, El Reno, Oklahoma.